Let's look at what Allah says about the sky itself. He says, إِذَا السَّمَاءُ انشقت. That day, the, the skies shall be split completely, destroyed. In another verse, Allah says, إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ وَأَذِنَتْ لِرَبِّهَا وَحُقَّتْ In fact, that verse belongs to the verses that I read previously. إِذَا السَّمَاءُ انشقت وَأَذِنَتْ لِرَبِّهَا وَحُقَّتْ Allah says, the skies shall be destroyed following the command of Allah and they will indeed follow the command of Allah. And the same will happen to the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا On that day, there will be a huge tremor on the earth. The earth will come to an end. It will spit out everything that it has underneath. And it will straighten and flatten. And man will say, what is wrong with this earth? وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا Insan, man is going to say, what is wrong here? What is happening to this earth? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes this and he warns us. Allah says, وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتُ لِلرَّحْمَانِ فَلَا تَسْمَعُ إِلَّا هَمْسَا On that day there will be dead silence. When Allah resurrects everybody, you will only hear a slight shuffle of the feet. You won't hear anyone say one word. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that thereafter, He will call. What will be the call? Allah says in Surah Al-Qasas, وَيَوْمَ يُنَادِيهِمْ فَيَقُولُ أَيْنَ شُرَكَائِيَ الَّذِينَ كُنْتُمْ تَزْعُمُونَ Allah says on that day we will call out to them, bring those who you worshipped besides me, let's see if they can help you, they themselves need help. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. كُلٌّ يَقُولُ نَفْسِي نَفْسِي Everybody will be saying, oh I'm worried about myself. Including all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala besides one who is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And inshallah we will get to that a little bit later inshallah in tonight's session. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that on that day, do you know what will happen? The sun itself will be wound and it will be dimmed and extinguished. Allah says, إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ كَدَرَتْ Allahu Akbar Allah says on that day the sun will be wound wound completely extinguished and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the same applies to the stars they will be dimmed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will their function would have been finished and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then explains that He will come he will arrive and the angels will come in rows. Listen to what Allah says in Surah Al-Fajr. Your Rabb, your Creator, your Sustainer, the one who took your life away, the one who's ar- who resurrected you thereafter. Allah, He says He will come and the angels will come in rows. How exactly that will happen, only Allah knows. We believe in what He has mentioned in the Quran and we stop there. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, On that day we will bring Jahannam forth. We will let Jahannam come right onto the point where we are taking account. So when Jahannam sees the criminals, listen to what happens. Allah says, Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about this in Surah Al-Furqan, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا رَأَتْهُمْ مِنْ مَكَانٍ بَعِيدٍ سَمِعُوا لَهَا تَغَيُّضًا وَزَفِيرًا As the criminals see Jahannam, Jahannam will make a roaring, bubbling, crackling sound, inviting sound to tell them this is your abode. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really make us from those who can take heed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us, He says, وَبُرِّزَتِ الْجَحِيمُ لِمَنْ يَرَى Indeed, 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 
Jahannam is going to be made clear for everyone who would like to see it. And it will be right there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask, is this not the day? Did I not promise you of this day? Allahu Akbar. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that man will come. And now he will start fighting his case with Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nahl, يَوْمَ تَأْتِي كُلُّ نَفْسٍ تُجَادِلُ عَن نَفْسِهَا On that day, every single person will come pleading their case, debating, fighting, arguing, trying to save themselves, to say, no, it wasn't like this, it was like that. It was like this, it was like that. And Allah will say, no, hang on, just pause for a moment. In Surah Yasin, Allah says, اليوم نختم على أفواههم. On that day, we will seal their mouths. We don't want you to talk. You are lying. You're telling us a lie. وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون. Allah says, their hands will have mouths to talk to us. Their feet will bear witness against them as to what they used to earn. يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ On that day, their tongues will talk on their own. Not only will the person be using the tongue, the tongue will have its own tongue to speak, subhanallah, to bear witness, Ya Allah, this person here used me in order to utter bad words, in order to utter words of kufr, words of lies, words of deception, words of harassment, words of slander, words of backbiting, words of gossip, Allahu Akbar. And Allah says, then the hands will bear witness to what you touched, what you stole, what you took, what you earned, what you spent, everything. The hand will talk. And Allah says, the legs will be speaking, the skin will talk, the skin will bear witness, Allahu Akbar. The body organs will bear witness on that day. So Allah says, look, we don't need witnesses from anywhere else besides your own organs, Allahu Akbar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا الصُّحُفُ نُشِرَتْ On that day, the books will be made open and clear. Read your own book. اِقْرَأْ كِتَابَكْ كَفَى بِنَفْسِكَ الْيَوْمَ عَلَيْكَ حَسِيبًا Read your own book. You can bear witness against yourself and that is sufficient. It is your own book, Allah says. Allahu Akbar. Look at the description of this day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then tells us thereafter that when the people come, their organs will be bearing witness for them or against them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us there will be definitely two distinct characters, two distinct types of faces. There will be shining faces, shining faces on that day. And there will be faces that will be dull in anguish and really worried. The face of the criminals will be really darkened, Allah says. And Allah says, those who are full of good news, inshallah, may Allah have mercy on all of us. They will have faces bright, full of happiness and smiling. They will have every reason to smile. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the books will be given. Everyone will get their book and collect their book. And Allah says, very quickly, He will sort the taking of account. Very quickly. Allah says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمُقْرَأُ كِتَابِيَةِ The one who will be given his book on his right hand, he will go out and say, Hey, read my book, read my book, I've got my book. I've really, I've got my book, come and see, I've got a good book. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ As for the unfortunate one who was given the book in the left, فَيَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أُوْتَ كِتَابِيَةِ He will say, oh, I wish I never ever got my book. I wish I never ever got my book. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, وَيَوْمَ يَعْضُ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي اتَّخَذْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا There will be large groups of people who will be chewing on their hands and trying to bite their hands in regret. Those will be the ones who had bad company in this world. They will be cursing themselves to say, Ya Allah, why did I take such and such a person as a friend of mine? They led me astray. They did not remind me when I was going wrong. They did not remind me regarding my duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's a lesson for all of us. Let us vet our friendship inshallah. And let us eject those who are not fit enough to be our friends. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us assets to those around us and to those who have befriended us or those whom we have befriended. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He will invite people to make sujood 
after he uncovers a part of him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَن إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ خَاشِعَةً أَبْصَارُهُمْ تَرْهَقُهُمْ ذِلَّهِ وَقَدْ كَانُوا يُدْعَوْنَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ وَهُمْ سَالِمُونَ Allahu Akbar Allah says He will invite people to prostrate to Him Those who did not used to prostrate in the dunya Will not be able to prostrate on that day Allah says Now why can't you prostrate? It is reported their backs will be stiffened and made straight And it will be told to them This is because when we called you to prostrate to us whilst you were in the world healthy and fit, you did not prostrate. Today, where are you going to be able to prostrate? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the sajideen, from those who prostrate at all times.